Hello everybody, it's Nina Bilby, St Senior Stone Carving Tutor at City and Guilds London Art School. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick whistle stop tour of my studio and uh, just talk about a bit what I've been doing during lockdown. Uh, we're based on the North Norfolk coast on the Holcombe Estate and when I'm not remote teaching full college um, and on Zoom I'm in here doing all sorts so I just thought um, I've employed a very, very attractive camera woman and she's going to take you around the studio while I chat to you, but um, getting down from here is quite hard, so um, bear with me. Okay, so over here is some tools and the door, which might be of interest to some. Uh, and if I just spin around quickly, sorry if I make you dizzy, there's a big connecting door um, to the forge next door and I'm going to do a video of that but that will be another time. Big pile of rubbish. It's a converted barn, uh, a Victorian um, building that's been uh, reverted into um, studio spaces for various uh, very successful practices and um, I'm very, very lucky to get one of the most undeveloped sections of it, actually, which makes it uh, perfect for a dusty, uh, dirty kind of studio environment. And I'm, I have to apologise to Claire French about the mess. Sorry, Claire. That is all going to the skip, I promise. So, um, collection of casts on existing shelves. These shelves were here when I moved in, which is so handy. And the remnants of a steam engine that was when it was part of a farm um, that goes through into that. I don't know if you can hear the bell from the tower which is quite nice i've been doing um little videos for college so keep your eye out for those around here um there's a couple of bankers and some stone carving that's going on uh, going on um i'm uh, doing a reinvention of uh, saint anne and mary that's the plaster polychrome version and over here is a stone version now this is a project i do when i don't have any commissions on um, it, I call them hospital projects. They're things that um, to keep your hand in and you just kind of chip away at them. She's been on the go for, all, for a couple of years now, I think. I moved in last August with every intention to finish her, but, you know, things get busy, she gets put aside. So she's just there for when I need to uh, have a bit of stone carving therapy. So a collection of mallets and tools and boxes and uh, my dad's uh, carpentry bench, which is... Um, so useful and uh, has a lot of emotional and uh, lovely memories of him working at that bench. A tiny easel for to do some letter carving. And over here is a kitchen area that um, um, I'm very pleased about because I can keep it clean. Uh, being on your own in the studio is such a great thing because you just know where everything's been. Right, in here, some of you will re kind of, I'm sure you'll recognise that green. This is uh, my office space, and um, it's where I keep the computer and what have you, and um, I can do admin. Um, it's made out of the rubbish from the old office, from the stone yard. When they redeveloped, it all went in the skip, so I managed to uh, salvage and upcycle quite a lot of um, material for free, which was brilliant when I moved in here, because this place was empty and had nothing. Over here I've got um, some plaster ready to be used and under this I'm keeping slabs of clay wet and that's for a project I'll show you in a sec. This is the dirtiest kind of chaotic bit, darkest part of the studio. This is like moulds and stone and rubbish and uh, a little bit of polychrome um, uh, letter cut it well we will have letters on it this polychrome low relief at the moment in slate and um, if I come around here there's more plaster casts this is where I make small maquettes and models um, it's a kind of cozy kind of private more private area smaller area and uh, that's one of the models for the Joan of Arc series and um, some other pieces for, um, for for a gallery so come back around here and you can get an idea of all of the kind of rubbish that stone carvers love to collect. We are quite um, magpie-ish about our collecting. So I've always been interested in putting different materials together. I have a wider interest in art and sculpture than stone carving. I am a restoration stone carver, but I um, have a wide, wide interest of uh, subjects. 
So this is a project I'm doing at the moment, which is a Joan of Arc figure based on this guy from Florence, who some of you will recognise. She's in terracotta, she's half-life, and she will go in the kiln eventually in pieces. So she will be hollow and cut apart. She's going to have a cape and uh, hands, obviously. She's going to have some hands. And at the moment, I'm putting on press molded parts to the um, to the armor. So these are like a leather uh, kind of chainmail leather skirt and chainmail a uh, kind of tunic that will have these leather and iron studs on it. And then she's got a two part chest plate. Um, the back I'm not modeling because she will be covered in a cloak. Um, but she will be holding. I'm just going to pick it up. A wooden shield. Uh, like that, sorry, a bit wobbly. Uh, the shield will be on here and that will be carved and polychromed and then she will have separate hands that will um, hold the shield but obviously the shield will be added to the statue when she's reassembled. But I'll be doing a little bit about that process on a different video if you're interested so keep an eye out for that. So this is probably it, um, there's not much more to see. Um, it looks like I've been here like I said forever but um, this is the first studio I've ever had where everything's been in one place so I'm, it's joyful to come in here and I'm having such fun um, just making stuff. So um, hang on, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. To everyone um, who's pushed through the, the, uh, the, the last term with great determination and great um, just camaraderie really, everybody supported everybody else. Well done to the students, you're extraordinary and you blew my mind with the beauty of the projects that you've been making and the absolute commitment that you threw yourself into every project. And to really good luck to all the graduating students and um, I look forward to seeing you all in October when we're open and we're thriving and we're all safe and together again. Alright, take care of yourself and uh, I'll see you very, very soon.